Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes and I wanted to upload a video uh, to talk about uh, specifically the spiritual world in terms of the, the life review and that you have to be very very careful as that um, on what you do because when you die you're going to have you're, you're going to be affected by the things that you do and not only that but you're going to have a direct effect on other people too because the thing is though is that um, yes you're here to learn you're here to have fun but you really don't have no real obligations to to um, to anything really. Not to create no real obligations for yourself. Don't create no obligations. Don't get yourself involved too deeply with things too too much. Um, you know, um, watch out because, uh, like for instance, um, don't get yourself involved with uh, and bad relationships. Don't don't get involved with making friends. Don't be too friendly. Be friendly. It's better to have acquaintances than to have friends, because friends, uh, not everyone, um, is a good person. They, they, you know them at first, and then they change, and and then the friendship uh, gets sour, and things happen. Don't get involved with relationships because relationships those are even worse than friendships. You know, don't don't get yourself involved with a relationship, or don't get married. You know, don't create obligations. Don't don't own a business or um don't don't create big obligations that will affect you now when you're dead and the people that you leave behind um because you don't want to have those things be imprinted in your life review you know see you see that, that that's what i'm trying to get at is that you have to be very very careful with what you're doing now you know um where does barely learning and and these things I'm thinking of is like we have to all know this man. You have to be very careful. Don't get yourself involved with too many relationships that because you just don't know how it's gonna turn out. You just don't know if it's gonna turn out right. You know we um, don't stumble too much. Try not to stumble because you know the relationships can get sour so fast. You get involved with the relationship, things start off right, and then you fight and verbal fights and then verbal fights lead to physical fights and so everything that you do to her if you punch her if you verbally abuse her and you just lost all nerve you know all patience you know tell her you know how you feel you know what you know you, you no one wants you because da 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 and then that's gonna be in your life review whatever you say to her she's gonna feel that that pain you, you're, you're gonna feel her emotional pain from what you said and that again is just a, a damn thing you know and it's all because we wanted to come back and live a life and and you know um the the, the, the spirits you know they're they're just um you know they're they're enlightened they're great people they're great you know they're great entities but if they were so enlightened why why would they need to come back but the thing is though is that um you're gonna feel that if you punch her if you get a uh, domestic abuse with her you're gonna feel that you're gonna feel what you do and it's all because you just didn't know any better, you didn't know about life reviews, and you got yourself in a big old pile of poo after you die. You're gonna feel it when you're in your life review. Don't 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 get yourself in a business. Don't don't become a, a big CEO, you know, because you don't know, like if you have a big business, how your passing is going to affect the company. Because a lot of the living CEOs, they're very selfish and greedy because they don't know any better about the life review situation that they they make wills and arrangements to, so that when they die they take all the money away or they or they do whatever but what I want to this example right here let's say for example um, you know um, Mark Zuckerberg you know who's recently um, gotten into uh, believing in God but other than that he probably doesn't know much about life review but it, let's say that Mark Zuckerberg um, you know he, he the owner of Facebook just an example he made arrangements to where um, when he passes away he's not going to continue the business but rather he's going to break down the business liquidate the business sell it all off so that all the money could go to his beneficiaries and his will and the, the, the Facebook is no more and all the employees lost their jobs that right there, you know, if you were him, if you own a business and if you're greedy and mean and selfish and you pass away, you made arrangements to where you pass away, all the money's gonna go to your family members or your loved ones or whatever. 
and and you didn't care about your employees well you know what it's gonna be in your life review you're gonna you're gonna be up there and you're gonna look down in the present moment and you're gonna see that all your employees you're gonna feel all the sorrows and woes of your employees um losing their job and and committing suicide because they can't pay their bills and their their wife leaves them and and they're emotionally and mentally uh, unstable and broken and and mark zuckerberg looking up from from that uh from up down looking down he's gonna be like oh my god oh i can feel it oh all the bad energy oh so much sadness why did i do that oh i just didn't know i forgot it was a game and, it, and it's all you know you have to be careful man you know it like like this the spiritual thing is kind of like a like i hate to say it's like a form of entrapment is what it is and that, that, that that's what i'm trying to say is that um you have to be you have to don't get yourself involved don't make too many friends because you don't know if you're going to end up fighting with your friends or arguing with your friends or saying something mean to them you don't you don't really mean to say don't get yourself in too many relationships to where you have children you make a divorce and you hurt your children's lives because you divorced four times having like uh eight kids with broken families don't get yourself in the business to where you have your your um other people's livelihood is on the line is on is all on you their life their living their uh their uh, careers are on the line and they're all on you don't get yourself too too deeply involved in this world try to live a normal straightforward life simple life to where you don't interact too much because you don't want to interact with too many people and have them affect have you affect them and have them affect you because you know it, 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 it's like it's like you you know you want to also be gracious in that you also also want to think about them too whether in a relationship or or in a fam or or, or or having to um, be making friends you have to be gracious and thinking forward and being like well yeah um, I don't want to have an argument and I don't want to have to punch this person and have to feel his pain but I don't want to have him punch me and feel my pain when he dies and see sees his life review so you you see you you want to you want to be gracious and avoid for um the sheer consideration of others also not only for yourself to look after yourself but to look after for others also too so that you won't create this big old hodgepodge of problems you know interact and live your life but don't 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 get yourself too deeply involved man you know and this is a, another uh, example to a really good one this is something that like is just a uh, damn if you damn if you do damn if you don't type of thing let's say that you have a friend that uh, you and your friend haven't met for 20 years. You guys go out for a drink and you haven't done it for a long time. Go to a bar and it's and you're both drunk as hell and you just didn't think ahead, you know, like, well, should we go get a go in, in, in a taxi or whatever? You just wanted to go. So you go, you're drunk, the bar's closed, and you have to drive him home, you and him home. So you're both drunk, you're driving. And it's just an innocent thing. You haven't gone off for 20 years. 10 years you drive it down the street and then you turn a corner and you t-bone somebody you t-bone somebody and 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 the whole damn thing of it all is that i'm not sure how the life review things work but you know you're you're gonna feel that other person in the car when that door crushed in and crushed his ribs and crushed his skull in your life review, you, you, you're, you're going to feel what you did to him, you know? And that's the thing is that it's like a damn if you do, damn if you don't type of thing. It's like a, 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 a form of entrapment kind of thing, you know? So it's kind of like, you know, it, it was something that was innocent. It was something that was unintentional. And like the life review is such a fickle thing that it's it's it, it records every damn thing, whether it was directly or indirectly having you involved in it or not you know it's every damn thing and and be, because like the way i say that it's like a, it's, it's 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 intentional unintentional it records it all so you have to be very careful and you're gonna feel that guy guys you know body crushing in and his brain being bashed in all because 
you just weren't aware and you're going to get something uh, something you don't even want in your life with you something you don't even is completely unnecessary you know and 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 this is the other thing too that people don't really know is that in your life review you're going to let's say that you're ki you're like a little kid and you make you know you have your you know, you're in the neighborhood and there's like you know the 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 neighborhood kids surrounding you and you're like doing funny things and you're like you know messing with some mud and you make them laugh but you didn't know that you 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 affected some you affected the people to the left and right of you until you die when you feel their joy and happiness because you made them happy by being goofy and being childlike as a child so that's the thing that's what i'm trying to say is that sometimes you, you you the life of you records things whether your 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 intention was was to affect everyone around you or only one person but either way you're gonna feel everything because everything you do has a both direct and indirect results on everything around you so that, that's what i'm trying to say they have to be careful what the hell you're doing i'm sorry to, i'm sorry to say hell but i'm just trying to get to the point is that you know th this is the thing you know um i'm not sure how deeply the life of you records everything but you know with the child thing it records everything both directly and indirectly both intentional and unintentional and uh basically what i'm trying to say is that just live your life live it simple don't 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 put yourself don't dig yourself a hole don't dig yourself into a hole of obligations where others are hinging all their lives are hinging on you don't get yourself too uh Live yourself a life that's simple. Don't get involved with too many relationships. Uh, don't get you, don't, don't make too many friends. You know, make some friends, three or four friends. Don't uh, get too deeply involved emotionally with people. Um, respect them and have res and and uh, find friends that will respect you. Have a camaraderie, a simple camaraderie. Um, live a life that is uh, more direct. Um, be careful. Uh, not 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 to get involved too deeply with anything or or anyone you know don't get yourself dug into a hole you know don't create obligations that will be recorded in your life review that's what I'm trying to say and this Ricky says it is inside the video is kind of long but I just have to get that off my chest so just be careful man just be careful and now you know just take that with you take this knowledge with you and continue living the way that I say in this video Live a simple life, live directly, don't get yourself too involved with too many people. Have acquaintances, but don't get involved too many relationships. Have one or two, and then live your life alone and live peacefully. Um, don't get into fights, don't verbally hurt anybody. Don't get yourself involved where you have to get into a fight or verbally hurt anyone. Um, you know, don't hurt any animals. Don't watch out with the decisions that you make in your life. This is Rick Cespedes, and guys for watching.